an amazing story of community support. On Friday, the Stanfield family was forced to jump from a third story window to escape a house fire. They survived, but lost everything. Now, the boys' football team is lending a hand off the field to help the family get back on its feet. 11 News reporter Vanessa Herring has the update. Vanessa. Well, the Bel Air Terps football season doesn't start for another 146 days. There's a countdown clock on their website. But the team got a workout today, lifting boxes and boxes of donations for their teammates. Bel Air Terps players did some heavy lifting, moving donations into the McFall Activity Center. It's always football season. You're always part of the Bel Air Terps family. Uh, we're always helping each other. Tragedy stuck the football family on Friday when a fire ripped through the Stanfield family's home in Edgewood. Great folks. The dad is a coach in our football program. Uh, four boys. Uh, three of the boys play football in our program. 34 year old Anna Stanfield and her four sons had to jump out of windows to escape the early morning blaze. Everyone's home from the hospital. Um, obviously, very scary for the kids, very scary for the parents as well. Uh, but everyone is good. It's definitely a little scary for me, just knowing that it could happen in my house. The two alarm fire caused $150,000 worth of damage. The family lost everything, including clothing, bedding, and food. We're just really trying to provide for them and help their family out a little bit. The tight knit community is stepping in. The Terps organized a donation drive collecting boxes of much needed supplies for the Stanfield family. I love to do this, especially for Aaron. I mean, he's a great kid. The team is already planning another donation drive. The team hasn't decided when the next donation drive will be held. Investigators say the fire started in the basement laundry room and quickly spread throughout the house. They're still working to figure out what caused it. Live in the studio, Vanessa Herring, WBAL TV 11 News.